A huge, shady and immoral business of organ selling to foreigners has developed in China. Systematic, state-sanctioned organ harvesting from non-consenting prisoners of conscience, especially from Balun Gong prisoners of conscience, is happening today in front of our eyes. It's absolutely unacceptable and should be ended immediately. I totally support this uh, resolution. We should condemn it more uh, strongly. We ask the EU member states to condemn publicly the corrupt and immoral organ transportation business. It is the European Parliament's obligation to condemn decisively the actions of the Chinese government in this appalling issue that touches the core of human dignity and the fundamental right to life. The human life is as precious, as valued in China as elsewhere in the world. And this is exactly what we are going to say with this resolution. Concerning Falun Gong and human um, organ harvesting, this is especially shocking for me. And I would say that we have to send a very clear message. For us, that is not acceptable. It must stop now and it must stop everywhere and against anybody. reminds me of the young Polish man who got out of Poland in 1941, having been into the death camps, and he went to London and he went to Washington to try and tell the Allies what was happening in the death camps. And a famous judge called Felix Frankfurt, who was himself Jewish, was asked by a journalist, you did not believe what this young man was saying. You called him a liar. He said, no, 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 I didn't say he was a liar. I just said, I cannot believe what he's telling me. And that's the real problem with this subject. The allegation and, and our findings are shocking, I mean, uh, to us. Uh, it, it, this is a, a form of uh, evil we have yet to see in this planet. When I met David Kilgore, who was the Minister of Justice in Canada, and who is a lawyer himself, and who is an author, and he told me that yes, yes, incredible as it sounds, but the most the most wonderful people in China, the most civilized and wonderful people, they refuse to believe this. It's so incredible. Which means that it's a very sinister practice, which is adopted by a very narrow circle of Chinese society. I want to remind the quotation from Dante in Inferno, the worst places in the hell are reserved for those who stay aside uh, during the time of moral crisis. We are now in moral crisis, uh, so we should act. We have to express our deep concern over persistent and credible reports of systematic, state-sanctioned organ harvesting from non-consenting prisoners of conscience, including from Falun Gong practitioners, according to the information I received. In prison for their religious beliefs is absolutely unacceptable. The government launched a nationwide persecution to eradicate the traditional and peaceful spiritual practice of Falun Gong. This follows the principles of truth, compassion, tolerance. This organ entnahme, pardon, is, is shocking and contradicts the conventional view of human dignity. It is for me unacceptable. 
že národ s takou bohatou kultúrou a civilizáciou vôbec začal s takýmto dekadentným prístupom k ľudskému organizmu. Ich frage mich wirklich, sind denn die Opfer normalerweise nicht die besten Zeugen dafür, was ihnen zugestoßen ist? Oder welche Grund sollte denn Menschen haben, hier etwas Falsches zu behaupten, wenn es nicht ihnen tatsächlich oder ihren Familienangehörigen zugestoßen ist? Und das erinnert mich fast an die Zeiten, wo die Opfer von Stalins oder Hitlers Konzentrationslager nachweisen mussten, dass es wirklich so schrecklich war. Das kann doch nicht Sinn der Sache sein. Nur weil eine Diktatur sich diese Intransparenz leisten kann, dann das in Zweifel zu ziehen, das was die Opfer uns erzählen. Parliament is the voice of 500 million Europeans. We built the European Union on values, freedom, democracy. This behavior is not accepted. It's not accepted by the world community. We should have done it that uh, earlier, but I think we have learned very much during this process of support. And now we are much more clear about what is going on in China and much more determined to continue our support and express our solidarity toward our Chinese friends. This resolution is the decision of the European Parliament. To do something is addressed to the People's Republic of China. I very much hope it will be received positively, like a good welcome of people who care. I understand that, and sometimes China, like Russia, thinks that uh, the West is imposing, which is nonsense, of course, because I think that the West owes really much to China itself, to the courage of Chinese dissidents, Chinese fighters and human rights defenders, uh, people who were fearless and so courageous. It's something deeply universal, something that is related to, I would say, a common denominator adopted by all civilized countries. This thing Thank you.